Okay guys, you've joined us on the 17th green here at the Asprey. And today we're going to show you how to play the shot with the ball below your feet. Welcome to me mymygolf.com. Okay, so today's question comes through YouTube from Steve Evans saying, can you talk about how to play a ball below the feet? So we've walked over to the 17th here at Asprey, which is a, a par five. As you can see, the sloping fairway from left to right here. We've got a tree that generally comes in play if you're to the right side of the fairway, but we've positioned it and made it a little bit easier for yeah. Pierce just to yeah, get, make around sure can get around the tree. Um, but we're going to talk about sort of how we're going to approach this shot and what sort of adjustments we need to do based on this lie. So first thing is, the ball below the feet, as with any lie, balance is really, really important. Sure, okay, so sure. keeping the balance is crucial. We'll go into that in a moment. Now, understanding how the lie is going to affect the ball is the key thing. Now, ball below the feet, we'll, we'll sort of take into consideration this is for a right-handed golfer. So, ball below the feet will generally encourage the golf ball to move a little bit more left to right. Okay, now that's just because it's going to encourage a little bit more of a hands and arms golf swing, a little bit more upright. Now, if the ball's going to move left to right, generally we're going to see that it's going to take off some yardage pierce. Yes. So the number one priority, first of all, is club selection. Take at least one more club, okay, depending on how severe it is. Yeah. So at least one more club with the ball below the feet. Then we need to think about the alignment pierce. The yeah. alignment now, we obviously need to go left of target for sure. to allow for that, again, depending on how severe it is, how, how, how much we feel it's going to move from left to right. And then it's all about then really creating the right setup pierce. Yeah. So let's just talk through what we want to create in the setup. Okay. So yeah, first of all, you mentioned, I mean, the scenario we've got here, we've got 170 yards, we've got a six iron. Um, normally my seven, six iron would go further than that, so this yep. is about seven iron yardage. And the flag is actually on the right-hand side, so it might, it does slope to the right, so there's a chance it could go close. There is a chance, <laughs> but I'm definitely not aiming towards the flag. I want to hit it the left side of the green. Yep. So I'm going to go on the, on the left-hand side of the green, and then from there, hopefully it'll fade in towards the target. So you mentioned at, at setup, obviously, yes, I'm going to aim left. That's the first thing. But then from there, I really want to create a good solid base. Now, because the ball is lower than, the, lower than it is normally, I need to get a little bit more leg flex. Okay. I, I generally have no problem flexing my legs anyway, long legs, but I want to really make sure that I get my legs flexed. This is going to get me down lower. It's going to help me with that contact. Okay, so we've aimed left. We've got you a little bit more leg flex. Okay, yep. now that again, the, the, the slope is going to want to pull Pierce down this way, so sure. it's really important that he can just balance and stabilise himself so mm -hmm. he can keep that, that sort of steadiness in the lower body. Yeah. Now from here, because of the slope sort of wanting to pull him this way, it's going to limit the, the amount his lower body can move, so it's yeah. going to encourage your arms to do a little bit more of a, an upward motion. And it is going to be a little bit more of a, a hands and arms golf swing, therefore that's why we're sort of changing the golf club as well. Sure. So, the key thing with in the golf swing pace, maintaining that balance. Yeah. So let's just demonstrate and talk about sort of how we can do that. Would well, you know what? I think as soon as we put ourselves, we compromise our balance, the swing is going to be a little bit soft, a little bit shorter. So the last thing I want to do is thrash away at it. So that's another reason why we have to club up as well. But from here, I mean, I always say to people, first thing you must do before you hit the golf ball is have some practice swings. Definitely. Make sure you can get used to how it feels. Now you can see maybe by my lower body, it's not transferring weight as much. Yep. So as you said, it's more of a, maybe an upper body dominant swing now because of the slope. So definitely in your practice swings, get used to getting good balance, clipping the ground a little bit like that. It's gonna be difficult to get to the bottom of the ball. Correct. You may get it slightly clean, that's okay. But that's definitely. A, that's a key thing there, just making sure that you can actually get to that ground. Because yeah. the majority of people in this lie, <laughs> they'll lose their balance, they'll come up out the shot, they'll top it or even yeah. thin it. So just giving you the feeling of maintaining posture and brushing exactly where you need to do, just gonna give you that sensation of what you need to do over the golf shot. A lot of people come up short right on this golf shot and it is for a number of reasons, pretty much all the reasons we just mentioned, they don't do enough of it. So they don't aim far enough left, they don't get the ground enough, they don't get enough leg flex, they don't maintain their balance, they don't stay down in the world, so they don't maintain their posture when they're swinging. Definitely, and this hole is very clever. The last place you want to miss this is <laughs> short, short right. right, okay? It's do a big bunker there. to a raised green. So again, if very- If you played here, you'll know, do not miss it short right. Definitely, he sort of thought, thought his way through this one. So, okay, Pierce, let's give it a shot. So, okay. Left side of the green here, you're not even flirting with the flag, really. You're not even looking towards nope, that, are you? Nope. Anywhere but, left, even if you miss it a little bit left, you've yeah, got a better shot in there. Sure. I'm pretty sure this is going to fade. So because of the contours, there's a chance it could go close, but I'm not aiming to get it close. I want to pitch in the, the, the left-hand side at worst the middle of the green and then let gravity do its work. Okay. So I want to pick something up in front of me here. So I'm going to pick a little target in front. It's a calm day today, so I'm pretty confident picking that leaf there. It's not going to blow away. 
The key thing again here is just all about maintaining that balance. So we want to just see that he can keep that balance through the shot and make a solid contact with that golf ball. All right, let's give it a go. Good balance, eh? Okay. Started more online, but you can see it's fading off a little yeah. bit there, Pierce. So it's just right to target, but just it's fine. Just right to target. Not too That's difficult okay. shot, okay. hopefully, there to get Definitely in there started there. further right than I wanted it to. That Definitely. Day. So you can see there that the slope has even just encouraged Pierce just to get that yeah. little bit more of a push. So... Again, maybe just take into consideration even more further left than you yeah. think there, guys. So, uh, ball below feet, key things, balance, upper club, okay? Making sure you aim further left than you think. Okay, get those three things right and it's gonna help you play that shot better. Post your comments, guys. Do you want us to do any other awkward lies? We're happy to do so. Let us know. We'll see you soon. Thanks, guys. Body motion controlling how far the